More breaking news tonight. The allegations made by Governor Andrew Cuomo's sixth accuser that he groped her in the governor's mansion. Uh, that allegation has been referred to Albany police. And one police spokesperson says the allegations may rise to a criminal level. The governor is in political jeopardy as well. New York State Democrat lawmakers now reportedly very much on board with an impeachment investigation over the sexual harassment scandal as well as the nursing home death cover-up. So is there any way Com Cuomo weathers this one-two punch? A party panel is back. Ben Dominich, Catherine Maggie Ward, Marie Harf. Uh, Marie, I will start with you. The governor has been handling this so badly. Uh, it, it's, it wouldn't be a surprise if more accusers came forward. This sixth accuser seems to be um, the most lurid and serious. What do you make of his political future? I agree. This last accuser is really, and they're all disturbing, but this is another level. Certainly, it's now been referred, as you mentioned, um, to the police. I don't see how he weathers this. I don't know how his tenure ends, but I don't see how he weathers this. There's clearly a pattern that has come forward, and I would strongly suspect more will come forward. And, you know, like Eric Schneiderman before him, the former attorney general, or Al Franken, the former senator, um, I think the Democratic Party uh, has shown over the past few years that we can police our own. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that you will see even more Democrats, prominent Democrats, call for him to resign. You've already seen a number of them call for that. They but should. I do not uh, think that he has a political future in, ahead in of him. In fairness, they, they should have called for it when they saw the nursing home death shenanigans. Uh, but here we are. Incompetent government kills, Catherine. That's what Cuomo says, apparently unironically, during press conferences. Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, I would love to see Cuomo out in whatever form that takes, but it's going to it's gonna grate a little bit if it's the Me Too stuff and not his wild mismanagement of COVID, in particular sending both elderly and disabled people back to infect others by state mandate. New York is 33rd in the nation in vaccine rollout. And, you know, it wasn't that long ago that people were holding up Cuomo as a shining example of uh, of COVID success, including, of course, Cuomo himself. Always oh, yeah. happy to hold up Cuomo as a shining example of success. How can this end, Ben? Well, look, I mean, everything's coming up, uh, Kamala, in terms of, of her, you know, uh, political future. You know, you have the dismissal of really, you know, two different uh, Democrat gubernatorial uh, candidates who could have potentially, you know, gone against her in the future in both Andrew Cuomo and in terms of Gavin Newsom. And I think that that is going to be something that's going to benefit her. Cuomo really has, I think, you know, uh, in, in terms of his situation, stepped into it in so many different ways. He really did, you know, have a situation before where he was benefiting from being an anti-Trump figure in so mm -hmm. many different respects, you know, and being built up by the media. But the reality underneath it all was really an indication of the failure of him as a leader. And I think that that's something we're only going to learn more about. And frankly, after the, after the kind of things that we've heard from Democrat officials, uh, representatives and, and, and elected officials across the country, it's very clear that they are not going to accept his continued leadership in the state of New York as being something that is a drag on them going forward. And I think that, you know, frankly, he's going to go out. It's just a question of how. Yeah, and, and there are New York lawmakers, 107 of them, 55 Democrats who are calling for his resignation or impeachment. We'll see how that turns out. Then Catherine Marie, beautifully done. Thank you for being patient tonight. Uh, great panel.